might be both a particle and a wave. Experimentally, we find that when they interact in particle physics, what do we see? We see essentially a game of billiards, right? We see things with mass or indeed with no mass, in the case of photons, little particles bouncing off each other. In order to describe where they're going to go. So you can ask the question, I've got a particle here, where's it going to be at some later time? Where's it going to go? Mathematics that describes where it's going to go is very wave-like. And so particles behave like waves in the sense that if you want to calculate where they're going to go, you end up with things you get with waves, properties of waves. So the way they move is not like the sort of particles we can imagine. If you bang the two together, you go boing, and that one goes off. You can calculate it, but the, the math you use is quite wave-like. So for example, with a wave, you can get what's called interference, which means that the peak of one wave lines up with the trough of the other one, and the waves cancel out. And you get that with the way that particles move around. The best thing to say, my prejudice that particles are particles, but the way they move is not like the sort of particles we can imagine.